Hello, Internet, and welcome to my live reaction for Yona of the Dawn, Chapter 196. Uh, when we last left our heroes, we continued the Yonghee flashback as King Junam uh, anointed, appointed Ill as his successor, uh, which left Yuhan unhappy uh, until at Ill's coronation he saw how very few people were cheering for Ill, and he swore to back up his brother. Uh, meanwhile, the Scarlet, the Crimson slash Scarlet, not sure what translation we're going with today, uh, illness continues to ravage Yonhi. She eventually leaves the temple, uh, leaves the palace, um, starts to, to build up a friendship with Kashi, uh, and invites Kashi to her home, where Kashi is killed by bandits, supposedly, on the way. But there's kind of the implication that Yuhan was the one behind it. And then we end the chapter learning that Yuhan is set to die soon. Uh, so that's kind of where we left off last time. Let's jump right on into chapter 196. We open on a very despondent Yonhi. Lady Yonhi, please eat at least a little. Uh, and her servant just kind of looks at her sadly. Uh, and then she turns to leave and Suwon runs up to her. Mother, how's Lady Yonhi? Oh no, that's, that's, uh, that's Iksu. Or no, Minsu. Right? The guy's name right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, uh, that's Minsu's mother. Uh, then Minsu runs up to her. Mother, how's Lady Yonhi? Uh, and then she just shakes her head. I see. It must be so painful to her. I can't believe it either. That Lord Yuhan is no longer with us. Oh, so we've already cut to... to after Yuhan's death. I thought this would be the chapter that, like, ends with Yuhan's death. Which means I thought we might get answered. So though I suppose that this is Yuhan's di or uh, Yonhi's diary, and Yonhi doesn't know that Il killed Yuhan, or at least at this point doesn't know that, that Il killed Yuhan, she wouldn't write it in this early. Um, though again, that's supposedly what happened. I think we've only actually heard that version of events from Kai Suk, though, who's not exactly a trustworthy source. Anyway, chapter 196, the pain that was inflicted on those who inflicted it. Uh, Lord Yuhan was dead. He had left on a long ride and slipped on a, off a cliff. I couldn't bear looking closely at his di disfigured shape. Why did he have to go before me? Everyone is going before me. Uh, so, it's kind of a sketchy thing there. You know, he slips off a cliff. Yuhan slips off a cliff. Slips off a cliff. Um, which, whether or not Il actually killed Yuhan, would at least set the idea in Kai Sook's mind that Il might be responsible. Uh, and sometime later, Su Wan comes up to her. Mother, how about going out? You'll feel hungry if you take a stroll, too. I'm sorry. I can't stand up. This world is very dark, and I'm terrified of it. I can't stop shaking. And she just thinks to herself, what am I saying? Su Wan is so composed, and yet... And there's definitely a very clear distinction between Yonki, who is, like, maybe because she's older and she's lived through more things and seen first her mother commit suicide after the priest incident, then Kashi dying, seemingly, which, might, which could be interpreted as her fault as she invited Kashi out there to now Yuhan dying, is just weighing on her more. And Suwon's more innocent, like, childlike mind um, can take it better. But either way, so, uh, Suwon gets into bed with her. Then let's stay here and talk. When Queen Kashi died, I stayed by Yona's side all the time. From now on, I'll be with you, mother. You see. You see, I'll become father's replacement. Mm, maybe my mind just went to a dirty place there, but that's not the kind of thing you want to say to your mother. Uh, right now, it's difficult, but just wait and see. I mean, of course, he's talking about being like a strong figure for her. Hmm. And Yonki looks down, sadly, maybe shedding a tear, it looks like. Uh, and, and she kind of like leans on, on Suwon, kind of. Her head is like way above him, though. I'm grateful for being blessed with this child. Uh, and then sometime later, I think it's later that night, uh, Yonki wakes up. I fell asleep before I knew it. Where's Suwon gone to, I wonder? And she like puts on a coat or a cloak or something, gets out of bed. Which is good, uh, just Suwon disappearing. Um, led to her finally being able to get out of bed. Uh, and she wanders the garden at night. I have to pull myself together. Even, or she's looking, not just wandering, she's looking for Suwon. Even though Suwon is carrying himself brightly, there is no way his mind isn't in turmoil after losing his beloved father. Ah, uh, and then she sees a bunch of people 
with like torches, it looks like. I think I see Ill and Suwon there. Why are those people gathered? Uh, or no, it's not Ill. Um, I don't know who the guy I thought was Ill. Uh, but there's definitely Suwon, and I think this long black haired guy is a younger Kaisuk. Or Kaisuk in this translation, my bad. Suwon, Kaisuk, and Lord Yuhan's personal guard. What are they up to in the middle of the night? Um, and Suwon speaks first. I'm back from inspecting Father's corpse. So, what's your conclusion? Ah, so they're already suspicious. Okay. His corpse? They have desecrated Lord Yuhan's grave? Suwon, what on earth? His injuries were so grievous it was hard to discern it, but it was there. Traces of a sword wound from behind. Oh, uh, yeah. There is... I mean, it doesn't say that it's ill, but... I mean, so, as I said before, the only... The, the big reason I, I'm suspicious of Yuhan being responsible for Kashi's death is that, as the story is set up right now, there's no reason for Ill to lash out against Yuhan, given that Yuhan has been super supportive of him, even against his own better judgment. Um, and so the only thing that would tip that balance that we've seen is if either Yuhan was, or Ill thought Yuhan was, responsible for Kashi's murder. Um, but still, we'll see. I, I keep, like, speculating about actually seeing what's happening. Uh, traces of a sword wound from behind. Uh, and is that Yonhee here? Uh, in this panel? Yeah, it's Yonhee, shocked, confused. Then, the story Kei Shuk told was true? I thought it was strange that someone like Lord Yuhan would make such a blunder and fall from a cliff. This settles it. What you said about Lord Yuhan having been murdered by His Majesty Ill. Um, this is all the guard. None of this is Kei Shuk. Uh, and so... I'm curious, okay, how does, was Keishuk with Yuhan when he died, is the question. Because um, if Keishuk is the first person to say, hey, Yuhan was murdered, um, what makes him say that? Why does he think that? Why does he know that? I don't know. Lots of things to see in the next few pages. <laughs> and Yonhi just thinks, what the... Another one of the guardsmen, but to think that Lord Yuhan would lose to that weak king... It wasn't on single combat. King Il stabbed him from behind. How despicable. Which makes it seem like, like, uh, Keishuk was there. Maybe he got away? I like, ran away? Ran back to Yuhan's estate, where he would probably be safe? Um, though then why wouldn't Il just frame Keishuk? Instead of, like, if he had framed Keishuk, that would explain the sword wounds. Uh, that would be a better plan than just killing Yuhan. So, also, I don't know, like, if Keishuk has been in Il's court this whole time, when, uh, and before Suwon takes over, uh, takes over, kills Il, um, then that would completely toss out this theory, uh, that Il, that Keishuk was there with Il and Yuhan, but if he's been, like, in hiding over at Suwon's estate, that would track, I don't know, why did he do such a thing? Keishuk, you were together with Lord Yuhan, no? Something must have happened. I accompanied him as far as the castle. When they left on a long ride because they said they wanted to take to talk between themselves, I was told to dismount. So he, here we're getting we're getting Keishuk's side of the story, um, who's only there for part of it, uh, and se seemingly, at least as far as page nine, page ten, I completely blow this out of the water. Uh, but page nine, as of then, uh, he was not there for the actual incident. I felt an un I felt a little uneasy that the invitation had come from King Il. So I followed from a distance, unbeknownst to them. Ah, uh, here's the... Okay. So this is going to explain how... Really everything about Keishuk right now. Or everything about how Keishuk knows everything. At first they seem to be talking about trivial things. Uh, we see a little bit of their conversation. Uh, uh, Yuhan starts. I was surprised. This was the first time you invited me for a long ride, no? I wanted to relax a little, you see. And I haven't gone out at all since Kashi died. I see. From now on, call me any time. So, elder brother. Uh, this is the same formula. This is the translator note. Same formula I rendered as lord brother. Now ills the king. It doesn't seem appropriate to retain the former, but there was no change in Japanese. Makes sense. Hmm. About my wife, Kashi, you see. She was a survivor from the temple. A shrine maiden. Did you happen to know that? No. Was she then? Yes. Uh, and just then, Ilse kills him. 
Just like that. Um, despite the fact that, he, I mean, presumably he thinks that Yuhan is lying, and Yuhan is lying, I'm pretty sure. Um, and yeah, Il kills him, or stabs him in the back. Uh, and Keishuk just watches from behind the bush uh, as blood falls out of Yuhan's wound. Ugh. Uh, and Yuhan turns back. Ew. Why are you making such an incredulous face? We're brothers. I can see through your lies, elder brother. You knew it, didn't you? You knew it, didn't you? No. You ended up finding out, was it? And that's why you murdered Kashi, no? So yeah, there, everything I was saying was seemingly right. I, either Yuhan did kill her or Il thinks that, that he killed her. Um, and Yonhi takes this in, horrified. Lord Yuhan killed Kashi? Is that true? Lord Yuhan killed Queen Kashi? So Lord Yuhan didn't, didn't forgive a survivor of the oppression? No. He said that wasn't true. Uh, and the translator has a little as aside here. Of course he would say that, you idiot. Ew. She was just, just an apprentice shrine maiden, so I overlooked it. What do you mean, overlooked it? You've always been like that, elder brother. You oppress those you can't understand from your lofty position, and bring down the hammer of judgment on them. That's a grave sin. Uh, so Il st Yoni, or Yuhan, sorry, even at his death, even on his death, after he's been stabbed, is still denying that he was responsible for Kashi's death. Besides, she was no mere shrine maiden. Yona was born to her. She was the exalted mother to the Crimson Dragon King. Ill, you were fooled by that woman. She wasn't that kind of person. Our Lord Father also understood. Of course, even the old man fell for that woman's ruses. Don't you understand? Because of her, the country will go into decline. Elder brother, you're twisted. Yon is the reincarnation of the Crimson Dragon King, and she will protect this country with the four dragons of legend. Cut the crap! Look at the facts instead of being obsessed with a meaningless... Ah, one sec. Obsessed with a meaningless delusion. You're the monarch of Koka Kingdom. If you rule righteously as king, I'll gladly swear my loyalty to you. I'll dedicate whatever life I have left to you. But don't you clutch a useless straw of hope in a position like yours. Do you think you can entrust our country to the gods? Um, so yeah, we're seeing kind of the crux of their argument playing out. That we've kind of been simmering under the surface for the past six or so chapters. We've been in this flashback. Uh, but the ill is just leave it to God. God will handle it all. And Yuhan cannot abide by that. Um, though it, it's still a little bit unclear if Yuhan actually did kill Kashi. Um... Because the thing that, that really sets off, off ill is when he says, she was just an apprentice shrine maiden, so I overlooked it. Um, and maybe it's like the idea that ill is enraged at the idea that Yuhan thinks he has the right to just kill his wife if he had wanted to. Um, I don't know. Uh, and then there's this line here on page, uh, I think it's 16, uh, when Yuhan tells him, don't you understand... Excuse me. Don't you understand? Because of her, the country will go into decline. Uh, I don't know. Like, how is Yona? Is it Yona or Kashi? First thing. Um, is he saying that... Oh, I, I think I figured it out. I think he's saying that... Because right before that is, of course, even the old man fell for that woman's ruses. Don't you understand? Because of her, the country will go into decline. I think what he's saying is that... Um, um, because the ill... Ill Ill will make a bad king, I think he's saying. Um, and the only reason Ill is king is because Junam also believed that Kashi and would give birth to the Crimson Dragon King, Yona. Um, that, that's my interpretation of that line. Um, and he's kind of right, though, because Ill does kind of bring the country into, into decline. It's one of the central, like, the crux of the beginning of the series. Uh, anyway... Do you think you can trust our country to the gods? Uh, and Ill just almost placidly, tears streaming down one eye. I can't take a step further with you by my side. Uh, and uh, Yuhan kind of like stumbles towards him and Ill pushes him off the cliff. Um, and we cut back to, to Keishuk, uh, who we see, we see one last, last clip of Keishuk just in total shock. Lord Yuhan appeared to be desperately trying to bring King Il, who was spouting thoughtless, nonsensical remarks to his senses. 
without once drawing his own sword. He fell down the cliff just like Keshuk. Uh, and this is one of the guards. You bastard. He's like grabbed, uh, grabbed Keshuk by the, the collar. If you saw that, why didn't you rush to the help of Lord Yuhan? Bastard, you had to draw your sword. Draw your sword and stop his majesty. No, stop ill. I love the, the instant, like, like, he stops himself from showing ill respect after he kills Yuhan. Uh, but Suwon calms him down. Mr. Keishuk was seriously injured in battle and doesn't have full control of his, ar of his legs and arms. Uh, and the guard drops him. What a good for nothing. I ought to have accompanied him. Regrettable. How very regrettable. These are like all the other guards kind of talking. I have thought ill becoming king was a mistake of sorts. But now I'm afraid his majesty Junom is brainwashed by that priestess and ill's falsehoods. At first I resigned myself to his majesty Junom's command regarding who was to become king, and yet... Uh, and Yonhi... Uh, yeah, Yonhi... Um, is still watching in the background, kind of like hand over her mouth. Ill. And what we hear one last line of the guard, though, is the one man in this world I won't forgive. And now we have uh, Yonhi's thoughts. His Majesty Ill killed Lord Yuhan, but that was because Lord Yuhan had murdered Kashi. Lord Yuhan, on the day Kashi was supposed to pay me a visit, had... Again, we don't actually know if this is true. Yuhan still denies it. Kashi, Lord Yuhan... Uh, and she like, holds her head in her hands until she hears another per another person say... We mustn't let that man remain seated on the throne like this. We have to drag him off and correct his conceited notions about the Crimson Dragon King or whatever, by, what, by any means necessary. Hmm. Mm. That's right. We'll protect this country. To fulfill Lord Yuhan's wish. Wait. Please wait. Uh, and Suwon, once again, is the one who has to calm them all down. I don't think it's wise to make a move under the sway of our emotions. Uh, and uh, Yonhi stops. Suwon? B but uh, And Suwon just stops him. There are many things we don't know about His Majesty Ill's thoughts. And if a power dispute breaks out right after a new king was crowned, the country will be thrown into disarray. Please give me time. Uh, and Suwon, very, very placid for like an eight-year-old. Um, we see, you know, the man who becomes such a great king. Uh, he just kind of slowly walks off. Uh, and Yonhi watches him, Suwon, uh, and the guard just, like, looks out how composed he bears himself, and he's still nine years old. He also said he'd break into Lord Yuhan's grave himself. He said he should do it as, as he could give an excuse if someone saw him, and he wasn't shaken the least on the side of his father's corpse. Hey, yeah, I was thinking the same thing. If that one were to become king, the dream Lord Yuhan was unable to achieve— of a Koka kingdom in control of the entire continent. Can't he fulfill it? Um, and then there's a translator note. Now let's hear the people who still think Suwon is better sitting on that throne than ill. Dogs of war, anyone? The translator note here is very, very pro-ill and very anti, uh, very anti Suwon. Uh, despite the fact that, like, just looking at the citizenry, ill is not a great king. It's a very important plotline. The first, like, quarter of the series or so. Of, is Yona learning her father is not a great king? Um, and honestly, I do think that there is, you know, the translator is right. They're they're kind of just obsessed with war and conquest. But also, like, Suwon and perhaps Yu, uh, if, if uh, Yuhan had taken the throne as well, um, the citizens live better lives under Suwon than they did under Il. Under Il, you know, the, like, corrupt nobles or whatever uh, were in sway, as I recall. Um, and Suwon has kind of brought some, has, like, done the things that have to be done, even if they aren't easy. Uh, as we see, as immediate, you know, killing of, killing of, uh, of Ill in the first chapter. Uh, and then later that night, um, Yonhi, I think, is back in her, her residence. Suwon, and by the light of a candle, we see Suwon enraged. I'm curious what these lines on, like, Suwon's face are supposed to be. Um, because they kind of look like burn marks, but he doesn't really have burn marks. He might just be, like, you know, wide-eyed in, in anger, so much as, like, face is kind of creased around it. Uh, and just then he notices Yonhi. Ah, oh, mother, did you go for a walk? I was surprised that you weren't here. Ah, uh, er. And Suwon brings her back to bed. It will be harmful to your body. Please go to bed. Suwon, k. Uh, and Suwon immediately figures it out. That is not a good face to have. Did you hear something? 
Uh, and Yonhi freezes and kind of stammers out, uh, About his majesty ill. I'm not going to do anything now. Now, you say? Uh, and Suwon asks her, Do you also want to kill his majesty ill forthwith, mother? Uh, and uh, Yonhi freezes. The same lines that Suwon had. So I think I was looking too deep into that. Uh, it might just be like Shadow or something. I, I, I'm sorry, mother. It, it would be difficult to do it straight away. I have to make sure whether His Majesty Ill is capable of protecting this country. So that kind of brings back one of the larger themes of Yona, is that more important than, than a ruler's morals, you know, how good a person a ruler is, is how capable the ruler is. Like, like Yona drops her any, any pretense of trying to unseat Suwon when she realizes that Suwon is a good king. Uh, Suwon, despite wanting to kill Ill immediately, has to give him the chance to be king first. If he's a bad king, sure, off him, but he has to to fail before he can, can kill him, uh, which is an interesting interesting take. It's very rare to see a series be like, yeah, it's okay if a bastard is the ruler as long as the bastard is a good ruler. Uh, it's one of the things that makes this series so refreshing. Uh, anyway, I don't understand all this talk about Yona being the reincarnation of the Crimson Dragon King, but... Uh, and then Yonhi cuts him off. What if you judge that his majesty ill cannot protect the country? I'll get in, and Suwon just kind of hangs his head. I'll get him to step down. Or perhaps, Suwon, what father said was right. We mustn't leave the country to the gods. I share the feelings father expressed in his last words. I'm glad of it. Suwon, wait. And she just thinks to herself, I'm at a loss. From where should I begin? I understand if you bear hatred toward his majesty ill, but Yona, what would you do about Yona? And she thinks to herself, why is this child so dispassionate? If you pass judgment on his majesty ill, won't Yona pay as well? Aren't you very close to each other? Uh, translator note, again, very biased. That's what we call a psycho, madam. Uh, which I'm not quite sure is true. Mother, his majesty ill and Yona's stories are separate matters. Huh? If I put all the things I have to think about into the same box, I'll find no answers, even if I mull them over my entire life. Father used to say, if we don't apply our reasoning with efficiency to swiftly arrive at answers, the country will be ruined. I'm close with Yona, but I think it's mistaken to put that box up first. I said I'd become Father's replacement, no. Uh, and we have another reference to how horrible Suwon is, according to the translator. I have no need for the gods. I'll ascertain things by myself. Continues in the issue of October 5th. Okay. Um, there's a lot going on here. As we can see, I spent 23 minutes just getting through that chapter. Um, it's really good. Uh, it's really interesting. It's really complex. Who is... I mean, the, the whole thing of... If the only... I'm, I'm about to ask who is right. Who is... What's the right choice to make here? And we still don't know if... Yuhan actually is responsible for killing Kashi. Uh, because... You, I mean, in short, you could argue Yuhan probably would have survived the initial knife wound had he convinced Ill that uh, he was not responsible for Kashi's death, which I'm really not sure if he is after this chapter. Um, and so, But my point is that he may still be lying because he doesn't know that he's going to die yet. Uh, not until he is pushed. Um, but uh, this whole scene, this whole scene, the final scene between Yuhan and Ill is just finally the explosion of... All of the simmering, they, they, they've like put down their feelings, um, their whatever negative feelings they have for each other in regards of like, in return for some kind of like sibling affection or whatever. But thinking that Yuhan has killed Kashi finally crosses the line for ill. Um, and whether or not it's true, again, we just don't know. So it's really hard to give a final judgment to this, to ill here without knowing the truth. Like it may be possible that Kashi was just killed by bandits. I don't know. It's... Last chapter I would have said definitely not. But the way the fact that Yuhan might be innocent adds to the complexity of the story definitely works in its favor. And there is nothing Yona loves more than making the story more complex. Uh, and I'm a big fan of that. So that scene is great. Uh, and then we get this final segment with Suwon. And... I mean, I don't know how much more I can delve into here, because I really picked this chapter apart, uh, as far as I can make out. Um, 
But Suan, I'm curious if there is some kind of... Like, I, I get Suan by the time he's, you know, been training for this, been getting ready to, you know, judge ill for his, his job running the country for the past seven, eight, nine years or so. Um, but the fact that he is still, at this early stage, he is so dispassionate, as Yonhee calls it. I don't know. I, I wonder if there's more to him than meets the eye. I mean, I know, I know that, that Suwon would absolutely hate to be some kind of divine or religious figure in this whole theogony. Uh, twice in one, in, one in one day of videos. I've gotten to use theogony, by the way. Um, uh, I think, anyway, he would hate being a part of this whole theogony. Um, again, pretty sure I'm using that word right. Uh, this whole, whole theological landscape, uh, religious landscape. Um, it would make an interesting part of the story. Uh, maybe it's that same vibe as, like, the, the Tumblr post you see, like, what if Han had for was Force-sensitive in Star Wars? Uh, but, like, the pushback against, oh, I hate that kind of mystic shit, but, like, it actually helps him somehow, uh, being an inherent funny thing. I don't know. Um... I'm, I'm bringing up all kinds of random shit, because I've... I delved into it in the chapter, I feel like. Uh... But yeah, it's some good shit. It's some good shit, and I don't know what comes next. Like, I don't, I don't know, because we're here, seeing this all from Yuhan's, from uh, Yonhee's perspective. And the, what else happens before we get to the start of the series? Next chapter might bring us full circle back to chapter one, back to how Yonhee reacts to Il's murder. Uh, I think it's stated that she, she was at least still alive by then, right? Unless I'm mistaken. Um... I don't know. But we finally get Yuhan's death, uh, Su the decision that will start Suwon on his path to kill Ill. We get a lot of things this chapter, and I really cannot wait to see how it all develops from here. So I'm going to leave this video off here. Hope you all enjoyed the chapter and the video itself. If you did, feel free to drop me a like or subscribe, or, you know, do whatever makes you happy, you know? And remember, your life is your own, okay? Bye!